Hello there and welcome back to my channel. For today's Vlogmas video, Billy is joining me and we are gonna walk you through our weekly meal plan and grocery shopping routine. Thank you. I like that shirt by the way. Good, you better, because you got it for me. <laughs> did I really? You didn't realize I was wearing it and that you bought it? When did I get that for you? I don't know, a couple years ago. Oh. It's been hanging out in the closet. Well, I'm happy I like it. So for the meal planning, we have a note in the notes app. It's a shared note. We both have access to it. That way, if he thinks of things, he can add it to the list and vice versa. Typically, we will pick a meal, decide what day we're going to have it, add to the grocery list, and we just repeat that process. Okay, so first of all, I already added, <laughs> sorry, I added apples because I knew we needed that. And when I went through the pantry yesterday, I added some items. I tried to add panko breadcrumbs, but it came out as... Pablo, Pablo. <laughs> crumbs. Onion powder, garlic, salt, Italian seasoning. I refilled the spices yesterday mm. with things that we like already had a surplus of. Fiber now brownies from Aldi, chocolate chips, pretzel thins, and cereal. Meals. First of all, is there anything going on? Well, we're doing a date night next Saturday, so we don't need a meal for that. Um, so basically Sunday through Friday. Oh, hello. I don't think she's in the show. No, she wasn't. <laughs> all right, you can pick first. Well, we already have uh, chicken strips. Oh Remember, yeah, we, we need have to that, use those. And we need to use those either Sunday or Monday, so. Okay. Can I do a request? Sure, your, why is your hand up? Habit. Okay. Um, <laughs> can we use the chicken strips and make like homemade, either chicken strips or chicken nuggets in the foodie? Yeah, let's do strips. Okay, so can we do that Sunday? Sure. Okay, so chicken strips. What do you want to have with it? You probably want to have a veggie on the side. Yeah, like a California medley. Do we have like a salad on the side too? Yeah. We already have the chicken strips. We will get more breadcrumbs. So we'll be good with that. We yeah. need a salad. All right. So technically I kind of picked that one. So you can pick the next one. No biggie. Hey. I right, can see your ear. Um, oh, hair. Hair in the coffee. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got it. Let's definitely do. No, no. YouTube doesn't need to see that. Let's definitely do uh, one of the days this week, the tikka masala. All right, so we already have sauce for that. Yeah, we, we have rice. rice. Got coconut milk. Literally, the only thing we'll need is more chicken. Chicken. All right, my turn. Can we do Mediterranean bowls? Sure, Tuesday. Yeah. Now we'll have to go to H E B for that. Okay. Because uh, Aldi, this Aldi does not carry ground chicken. We'll need cucumber. We need more chickpeas, or do we have some chickpeas? We need more. Okay. Uh, let's get more tzatziki. Tzatziki. Yeah, that'll also be an H E B item. Okay, help me spell Tzatziki again. Come on. It's like T Z. Yeah. T A Z A T Z I K I. Yes. Good yes. job. Good job. Okay. Sound it out. All right, your turn. What have we not had in a long time? Oh, I'm gonna show them Zora. Uh. <laughs> Wednesday, I would like to do some air fryer brown sugar salmon. Okay. Okay. Do you want asparagus? Yeah, I can do asparagus. So we need salmon. <laughs> we need yeah. asparagus. Yeah. Thursday, can we do like breakfast for dinner? Sure. Um, like eggs or pancakes? Well, we just had pancakes for breakfast not that long ago. I was thinking like omelets. We already have eggs and egg whites. Do we have like ham left? We do, yes. Diced ham. For the side, maybe some potatoes. We still have potatoes we can use. Like hash browns. Like, yeah, like like uh, home fries. And then... Can you add eggs, though? Because we need eggs. Oh, okay. You get to pick Friday. All right, this is a curveball. Okay? Okay. Curveball. Homemade French onion soup. Ooh, okay. Okay, I have a recipe for it. A recipe. Let's check if we have beef broth. Without no, we have, I know we have chicken broth and chicken stock. I don't think we have beef. We need Worcestershire. Cause I'm out of that. I don't know how to spell that. Well, we'll know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. We'll need Swiss cheese. Okay. And then obviously some like bread or something to go with. What about onions? And onions, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Lunches. I'm gonna do my typical taco salad. So I need shredded lettuce. We have enough seasoning packets. We have another can of corn. We have salsa. So that's all I need. What do you need for lunches? That is a good question. If we are going to H-E-B, I'll probably get some more salads. Okay. The thing is, like, we're gonna have leftovers. Mm -hmm. So I don't wanna meal prep anything and then okay. 
So salad kits. All right, that'll do. Look at that. So because we always shop at Aldi and then we'll go to HEB for any things we can't find at Aldi, I know the layout of the store. And when we make the grocery list, I purposely put the items in the order that we will come across them in the store. So it makes it that much easier once we actually get there. So for bags, we have these reusable bags from Amazon and they're insulated. Plus they hold a ton. If we're doing a smaller shop, we'll only take one with us, but this is more of a larger shop so we just take both of them and then it keeps the groceries cool on the way home i like when it looks like the cows have eyes with the <laughs> holes <laughs> last time i got two of them yeah i got to get two fishy Now. <laughs> uh, well, minced onion. The sign says onion powder, so it's got to be around there. Got it. <laughs> we just stick it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so here is everything that we got. We had to stock up on quite a few things that we always have on hand, but we were running low on. So eggs, butter, apples, Greek yogurt, some spices, breadcrumbs, cereal, fiber, brownie, stuff like that. Then we have the stuff specific for meals this week. So lots of lettuce. We love frozen veggies just because they're easy and then we can steam them right in the bag. Salmon, some cheese, mushrooms, asparagus, cucumber, ground beef, ground chicken, regular chicken. We have some hummus, some tzatziki, onion, chickpeas, and then Billy got these salads to take to work because he's not gonna meal prep this week. And then some pita chips. Then we have some fun stuff, starting with these holiday tortilla chips. We are doing a holiday date night and I'm gonna film it for you all, so don't worry, you'll see it. But <laughs> we're gonna make a holiday themed charcuterie board. So I wanted to get those white chocolate peppermint bark creamer from Aldi, sounds very good. I've heard that you can take these ranch packs and mix them with regular plain Greek yogurt and it creates like a dip. So I'm gonna try that and then some chocolate chips because I'm gonna be doing a bake with me vlog So then obviously we put away the groceries <laughs> nothing fancy there But I do go ahead and refill some of our pop containers from our pantry So things like breadcrumbs cereal all of that we keep in these containers And I find it easiest just to refill them like as we're putting away those items So that is basically it in terms of meal prepping. So actually cooking and preparing meals in advance. The only thing we ever meal prep are lunches. When it comes to dinners, we purposefully pick things, especially on weeknights that are very easy. So when we get home from the dinner, we don't have, from the dinner, when we get home from the gym, <laughs> we don't have to spend any more than about 30 minutes actually cooking and preparing dinner. For lunches, I love taco salad. And all I do is brown the ground beef and mix in the taco seasoning at the beginning of the week. And then I just assemble my taco salads each day, but it doesn't even really require that much meal prep. But <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed seeing just a little insight into our routine. Billy's hiding back there. But <laughs> we are headed out into Austin to film some things with the holiday events going on. So be on the lookout for that video coming up. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on. <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next one.